All right, you guys, the Stan Smith OG Classic. So this is just the one that you see tweens wearing around at the mall. This is not the skate version. Um, this is just the straight up classic Stan Smith. And so one of the downsides to that is the skate one, which I don't think they make anymore, had the fluffy mustache and I was pumped and this one doesn't, but at least it's still got the dude. Anyways, let's get into the shoe. Cause I mean, I love these. They're such a classic looking shoe. I love the green, I love the all white shoe. First off, I mean, the look down on these is fantastic. They are just a little bit on the blunt side, especially compared to the Manchester XLKs I was just riding, but they're nice. The laces on these are better than any of the Adidas skate versions. They've actually got some legit nice laces on here. I've gooed them up already pre-skate. So super glue, for those of you that don't know, put some super glue on your laces. It stops them from getting torn up. They're definitely pretty low cut. I feel a lot of exposed ankle in these shoes but um, not entirely a bad thing. The insole is not like a removable insole. It's just sort of some like fluffy, I don't know. It's not a removable one, but it's comfortable. It's like a piece of felt. I'm interested to see how long these last and how they feel, but first off, let's give this the old flick test. All right, first let's give it the heel flick test. I've done a bunch of those, it feels good. Maybe have a little speed, huh? <laughs> right into the crack. There, I told you it was good. Okay, I've done some switch flips. They feel good too. Like right off the bat, there's not too much shoe. It's clicking nice. Haven't done a regular kickflip yet. This is the first one. That was good. I can actually put more foot than I think on the board. So brand new, the flicks are good. That was a little Stan Smith montage for you. Um, it's been a long time since I bought these shoes and filmed that intro. I bought these specifically for a video, like not this video, one that I was, I needed the Stan Smiths for. So I wasn't skating them throughout the summer and then I put them on a little bit while I was waiting for another pair of shoes. But that's a bunch of babbling guys and I wanna try and keep this kind of short. So I really like skating in these and here's how they ended up working for me. All right, I gooed all the laces so I didn't actually break any of them. The flick on these shoes, while in the beginning of the video I know I was like, oh, they're great brand new, that actually wasn't the case. Because the toe was so kind of bulbous, the flick didn't get really good in these shoes until that wore down. So it actually took about a week and a half to two weeks for it to get like really good. 
But that was on my regular foot and I'm, you know, like almost 40 and my kickflips come and go sometimes depending on the weather, what I'm riding, what I'm thinking. For some reason, my switch flips aren't susceptible to that. They were fine right from the start and they're still fine now. Now the one weak point in these shoes that I have found is the sole. So right here, these are probably about three weeks old and you can see the sole is starting to wear away there. That's always the first part of the sole I wear out. It's from doing the little scooch on my kick flips. I found the side didn't actually wear out. I haven't had to put any shoe goo on them at three weeks, they're still good. I have definitely found these more durable than the vulcanized skate version that they put out a while back. I think they discontinued those ages ago though. The heel flips in them were great. Um, yeah, I found them to be a really comfortable, really good looking, reasonably good performing shoe, especially for one that's not a skate shoe. I mean, you can see how many skate shoes were modeled after these in the mid 90s, early 2000s. Like, these were really an influential shoe. So it's not surprising that when you go back to a classic like this, they still perform well. The only thing I would say is maybe, not even, but maybe they were a little bit less grippy. But I can say in all honesty that these shoes actually performed better and lasted longer than a lot of skate shoes out on the market. So whenever I see these on sale, I like to snatch them up. So I got these at Champs for $80 Canadian. That's actually a pretty good deal. Um, usually these shoes are around 100 to 110 Canadian. So because I know I'm gonna get my value for my money with these, whenever I see a pair on sale, I get them. And I do have a pair of these sitting in my storage right now for the next time I need a pair of shoes. Anyways, if you guys are wondering what the Stan Smith, the you know originals, the not skate versions are like, well, that's my opinion on them. I think they're pretty darn good. Just know that that sole might wear out faster than some of your other shoes. And now with that, I'm done. I said I'd keep it short. Um, so have I? I don't know. See you guys, have an awesome one. Hope you're doing well out there.